Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for Silent Night, Daily Night Part 5. Um, this is one that I just filmed a review for, but I didn't like it. I feel like I was rambling too much. I'm not going to say as much in this one. Because I feel like this one's got too much details in it that I feel like I, I can't... It just I feel like I ramble when I talk about it too much. So, we're going to redo it. Um, but, uh, this one... Uh, is the last one in the franchise I needed to watch. I have finally made it through all these. Um, three, four, and this, the third and the fourth, and this one was kind of a struggle to get through. <laughs> they're not the best. They do gradually get better, but they're not the best. Um, this one involves a a story with a mom and her son. Uh, the son has been traumatized from an event that happens, and she's trying to help him get over his fear and this trauma uh you know at least try to get past it i should say um and um he some events happen um and i'll say this one does have they 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 pull a little bit from pinocchio for this one that may sound odd but if you've seen it you know if not just know they they pull a little bit from Pinocchio. They even call the shop owner that makes toys. They call him Joe uh, Petto, and like separated at his first and last name. And the the shop is called Petto's Toys, which, as my wife says, is a poor name for, is a bad name for a shop, a toy shop, or a shop in general, really. Um, but uh, this one was fine. It was a little bit better than the fourth one. Um, you do get some returning actor, actor, uh, actor, actresses in this one from the fourth one. They're not playing the same characters, but they're back in this one. Um, but it gives you gore. The acting is good in this one. Not, I mean, obviously not anything amazing, but it's good. Better than I've seen from the third one. Um, you get a little more Christmas feel in this one than you did the fourth one. The fourth one really didn't have Christmas feel. This one, you do get that Christmas feel back. Um, I had a couple of minor issues uh, involving one of the victims and a, a, a another character in this movie. But I'm not really going to go into details of those because I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen this one. Plus, if I go into details, then I'll just start rambling, so I don't want to go into details on that, but, uh, I enjoy this one for what it was, it's, it's a one-time watch, it's nothing I'm going to watch again, um, I'm not going to be purchasing the Blu-ray set coming out with all three of these, um, I end up giving this one a three out of five, so they've gradually gotten better, um, but still nothing worth re-watching or adding to my collection, um, you know, depending on, on how picky you are with your movies, you, you know, if you're okay with, with very, with low, lower budget, very, uh, well, kind of okay to bad, uh, horror film, horror movies, then, you know, I would definitely say check these out, but if you're, you know, for me personally, I prefer the remake and I prefer the first one. So after that, they just kind of I can live without them. I don't know why how this spawned this big of a franchise. Honestly, watching watching these, um, so you know maybe give them a watch if you if you're interested this this season for Christmas. Um, but definitely not something you need to rush to see in my opinion. So, but yeah, three out of five for Silent Night Daily Night Part Five. So. That's everything for my review, so please come like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.